Hi, I'm Josh Deckard. Welcome to Plattsburgh Tonight. I'm joined with my co-host, Garrett Jones. Garrett, how are we? I'm fantastic, Josh. Yourself? I'm, I'm doing okay. How was your week? Uh, I was pretty good. Uh, last week, you know, the reemergence of the quake, you know, being quake president had a lot to do with that. But uh, today was uh, an insane start to the week. As you know, I work at McDonald's. Yeah. And uh, some people get pretty excited in the drive-thru. So crispy chickens are on sale, you know, per usual. So the screen was full of crispy chickens. I had to park like four cars. And some people take it upon themselves to just park in spots that are reserved for people who are waiting for their food and they eat their food in those spots. So spots are taken. This girl pulls up on the curb and then some guy's trying to back out of his spot. And he squeals his tires. The daughter of the mom gets out of the car. I'm just trying to walk a bag out to sell four. And uh, she yells <laughs> And then he revs this car up and then she yells it one more time. And then he says, I'd rather not. And then she says, and then he says, go back to Illinois, which I don't know. Her, Is that her, like that her license plate? No, Illinois. her license plate <laughs> were in New York. So I, I had troubles following and he drove off before I could ask. I imagine it was due to her unoriginality of uh, comebacks. Yeah, I mean, he just said, go back to Illinois. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it would be funny if she was actually from Illinois, though. <laughs> it would have been. That's I mean, like, maybe he like, knew something like she didn't. And like when he said, go back to Illinois, yeah. she's like, my After God. you. And that's yeah, all she said. And she got back in the car. Like, what'd she order? I don't know. It wasn't giving it to her, thank God. Or him. Damn. I know. Oh, I'm not supposed to say that. But. <laughs> no, I actually went to, uh, one of my friends is like a chemistry major. Mm -hmm. And they were like going to this event for like, um, I don't even know. It was like, like this really like sophisticated like chemistry thing. And I was told that there was going to be free pizza afterwards. Right. So I was like, you know what? I am going to go to this event because I want free food. Dip and into your deep bag of chemistry knowledge. No, I, like, when I was there, it was like they weren't even speaking English. Like, yeah. being in this major, like, I have not been in, like, an actual, like, science course, like, since high school. So, like, the whole time they were talking, I was, like, completely zoned out. Mm. I thought, like, they were going to ask me, like, what I was doing here. The one professor, she was, like, eyeing me down the whole time. And I was, like, she's going to ask me, like, why am I here? And she's going to ask me, like, what I know about this speaker. And Is I'm, that I'm class? Just, <laughs> it was, like, a presentation. Oh, okay. one, someone did ask, like, uh, like they know me um, from, like, the building I live in. And they're like, what are you doing in here? And I was like, I, I don't even know what, what this is. Like, I just know there's going to be food after this. You should have told I, me you're watching over them because you're the CA. I'm watching over them? Yeah. They weren't even there for that, though. They were leaving. Leaving? Like, they, were, they had, like, a class in there. I don't know. But I, I did get, get, like, free pizza afterwards. And, I mean... Did I you learn anything? No. No, I did learn what an amino acid was. What is it? It's like a, it's like a protein... It's like in your body. Wow. It's like something, it's a, uh, it really. we talked about tryptophan, which is the thing in Turkey that makes you sleepy. That's like what I took away. But I, when right. she said, like as soon as the speaker said hello, I zoned out. Yeah. I mean, I was just dumb. We well, learned what an amino acid is. It's a protein in the body. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't learn that from the presentation though. I, a tryptophan is when you have a turkey and it puts you to sleep. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tryptophan is like a cell or it's like an amino acid in the turkey. Really? But it's also on us? I feel like what I'm saying is like actually not true. No. And I'm sure like when my friends are watching this, they're going to be like, he literally did take away nothing from that. He took away some pizza, but it sounds good. And it was Little Caesar. Full stomach. Wow. <laughs> it's, dude, it sucks what so bad. What a waste badly. of a day. It sucks so bad. But no, it was free. And that's like, that's really all that counts. Like little said. Caesars really should give their pizza away for free. I mean, it's... It, like if it was that, waiting for you afterwards, why would you need it hot and ready? It was clearly going to cool off. No, the whole time she was giving the present... Well, when they first started the presentation... They're like, oh, we're so happy people can come. They're like, we do have pizza after this. Wow. And then, like, after the presentation was, like, a half hour. And then, like, there was questions for 15 minutes. And, like, my whole, my, the whole time I was sitting there, I was just like, the pizza is getting cold. Right. Then I find out it's Little Caesars. And that it doesn't really matter because it's Little Caesars. It's terrible regardless. But was it hot and ready? No. But it was, like, lukewarm at most. Oh. So. It's a bummer. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Mm. All right, so uh, before we started the show, me and Garrett talked about... Um, Garrett and I. Garrett and I. Little English major yeah. over here. Chemistry or English. Suck at both of them. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> we talked about how we wanted to discuss Avatar 2 um, for the show, and that was like months ago. And Avatar 2 has been out for a while, but I think now is the best time to talk about it. So Garrett, Avatar 2, what'd you think? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's kind of long. I have a problem. Kind of long. Yeah. It's like three hours of looking at like a glass of water. Only like three hours. I think it was 2.30, right? It's like two hours and 50 minutes. Yeah. Well, I have a problem with sarcasm, so I just cracked jokes, and uh, my girlfriend 
told me I had to shut up. So my sister and I had to move a few seats over so we could be terrible people and talk during the movie. You, so you left your girlfriend during a three-hour movie to go well, make yeah. jokes about a three-hour movie? Yeah, but I was with my sister. So I mean, I respect know. it. I'm yeah. not judging you. Right. That, I mean, that's a power move. Well, I mean, you can't just sit in front of a, almost a three-hour movie and not say anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did you see it in IMAX? Yeah, I yeah. did. I will say the 3D in that movie was, like, insane. Yeah. I mean, I, I usually don't like 3D movies, but, like, that was pretty cool. I'll yeah, say. 3D in Buffalo? And they do have 3D really? in Buffalo, yeah. Oh, nice. No, the technology Didn't finally came. It, it finally caught up to us. Wow. We, we got it. Congratulations. <laughs> no, I know. It's a, it's a great, it's a big deal. The 3D sucked where I was. It did? I Where'd you see it? Watertown, New York. Like at, like, what theater, though? Like a Regal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I, I actually worked at a Regal, so I got to go for free. That's why they suck. I'm like Garrett, who had to pay 20 bucks yeah. to go see a three-hour movie. Plus food. That at the Regal? You bought food at the Regal? Yeah. Did you buy the hot dog? No, I bought the popcorn and the soda. You know how they cook the hot dogs at the Regal? No, I'm just on those little rolly things. I don't know if we can say Regal because it's like um, copyright, but we'll just talk about the movie theater instead. Yeah, I love that movie theater. The, the movie theater is amazing. Mm. But no, how, how we make the hot dogs at the movie theater is you basically preheat this oven. It's like an industrial oven slash microwave combo. You set it to like 700 degrees, mm. so it's constantly staying at like 700 degrees. Hot. You throw the hot dog in there for like three minutes, it like flash cooks it like instantly almost. Wow. And when it's cooking, you can hear it like blowing up inside, mm. getting filled with all like those. How small is it before? You it's really... like, it's like, it's like that big. Jesus. <laughs> and then, then it's all like shriveled up and like wrinkly. And this is not even a euphemism. <laughs> but, uh, Accurate though. But it's like disgusting because like the whole time it's cooking, you can just hear it like popping and there's grease everywhere. And then people complain that it's bad. But it's oh. like, well, you ordered a hot dog at the movie theater, so, right. I mean, what were you expecting? It is pretty bad. That's yeah. disgusting. Did you right, try well, one? I had one on my last day at yeah. work, and I gotta say, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. No? But, I mean, I was working, like, an eight-hour shift, so. and I was starving, so, I mean, I was probably so biased. But, I mean, it's not as bad as you think. Yeah. Right. But, I mean, it's... And you're, hu you're huge on the movie theater. Like, I'm huge on it? What you, do you mean? Like, you love the movie theater. I do like you're going to the movies. kind of biased to the movie theater. You know what's terrible? My girlfriend is a couple years older than me, and she's in the real world with a real job. Oh, that sucks. And I paid for the tickets and the food and the <laughs> soda. Right? Because of this stupid patriarch that you have to be a gentleman. Yeah, I mean... I mean, at McDonald's, I make decent money, but I'm not making, I'm not making that real world money, you know? What does your girlfriend do? Public health specialist. She's a what? Public health oh, specialist. Oh, public health. Okay. If you get a bachelor's degree, they just call you a specialist in pretty much anything. So we can be specialists in whatever our major is. Right, TV, which video is... video production. Yeah. And then, Broadcast journalism, audio production. Yeah. All right, Garrett, let's see. Uh, we got a great show tonight. Uh, I say that this, the show has just started. Yeah, but, uh, well, Harris's, we hope it's great. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, if you're watching it now... We may have to switch not, the host. You we'll see. Off. I mean, we might. Yeah. I, think, I think Garrett's maybe second cousin might take over my job. Really? And then I think my first cousin will take over your job. Are you serious? I think there'd be like one... One heck of a combo. I think it would be. They'd probably get along. I honestly don't know any of my second cousins, right. so. Me neither. <laughs> That's just puts me in a rough situation. <laughs> when we come back, we're going to be speaking with Harrison Swells, a local uh, film enthusiast. Who's Dragon also... Ball Z expert. Uh, Heard tonight, expert didn't it? even know. He's also. Uh, he just calls uh, it Dragon Ball, so he must really know what he's talking about. He and he's, he's an enthusiast of the movie theater, too. That's true. Of the name we can't say. Wow. Yeah. We might be able to say it. We'll see. I well, mean, we already just talked about it, so. We'll find out. All right, stay tuned. When we come back, we'll be talking with Harrison. This is Kinks, which stands for Collectively Inspiring Not Your Hair Students. And we like to promote people to embrace their natural hair and just love who they are. Um, every spring semester, we have a hair show. So if you're interested in modeling, hairstylists, and a makeup artist, um, this is something to look forward to every spring. Sport of Jiu Jitsu is mainly for, you can use it for self defense. That's the number one reason it appeals to people. There's other people who come to this club for the competition aspect, and also a lot of others who do it for the workout aspect. It has multiple ways of appealing to different audiences, and you should come give it a try. You might like it. Welcome back to Plattsburgh tonight. I'm your host, Josh Deckert, with Garrett Jones, and now we are joined by Harrison Swales. Harrison. 
How are you? I kind, of, I kind of wish I went to the bathroom before this. Now that I think about it, you had like literally two hours. I was I was a little busy. I was I was I was I was I was, into, I was doing stuff. You, were? you had two hours to go to the bathroom. I told you to be here at seven. You got I, here I like get four anxious. I get anxious in the bathroom. You get anxious in the bathroom. Yeah, I need a crowd in there. <laughs> <laughs> you need a crowd in there. You could have asked me and Garrett. Yeah, you, you, you guys are busy. You, had, you know that's what friends are for. Mm. That's true. That's true. Thank you. Harrison, so you work at Dunkin' Donuts. You, we actually just talked like a while ago. You told me that you have to pay forty-two cents for a cup of water. Forty-two cents, cup of water. Even and while you're working? You, yeah, that, while I'm working, especially while. Wow, I'm working. how much for a cup of water post work? Um, I just take it. It's like four hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, get full price, two dollars. They don't want to no. keep you hydrated. They give it to him for free when he's not working, but when he's working, they, they charge him forty-two cents. Do you yeah. get any other like free food? I, I just, I, 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 I literally like, I, ch I chomp <laughs> down on the donuts. Like illegally or like Ill Ill to illegally. Like, this is donuts. not going anywhere. Illegally, illegally eating donuts. I tried all of them. Harrison, we're gonna send this to your boss. We're gonna <sighs> get you a raise. You take the donuts in the back, or you just take them straight in front of customers? Just front from the back in the front. Really? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be standing in the front, like eating the hash browns in front of them. Wow. Do they give you like a discount on donuts to take home? No. No, they don't give you like any. The like, what are the benefits of this job? Uh, I think mean? someone, someone like took a donuts and they, they, had, they had him come back to charge them. For what if he eats them there? Does like, if Harrison discount? was going to like, say he was going to like a funeral after work and he wanted to bring donuts to the funeral, like, would he be able to get like twenty percent off? If you wanted to like, brighten up the donuts? funeral with donuts, um, could you bring some donuts? I could probably come in with the. the I'll I could probably donut pull box. some strings, mm. but it's not guaranteed. Why'd you choose a funeral of all places to take donuts? Know, Where else would you bring donuts? donuts? I don't know. The dorms? Your friends? Donuts are really kind of like, like somber are food. donuts it's an event? Who's having funerals in the morning? A lot of people. I feel like are. I've been to a funeral, though, where there's like... I've, like, I've you, been you to at like least a, a 6 a.m. funeral or twice. Really? Before you go to Do the funeral, have you have like the wait no, for donuts. Have you gone to Montreal's Krispy Kreme? I didn't know they had one there. That's the only nearest one in the area. I've been there just for the Krispy Kreme. You went there? I mean, I don't blame you. Yeah, it was, like, it was a good drive. Is it better than Dunkin' Donuts in your opinion? Oh. You can see them make the donuts in front of you. So. I feel like that's not true, though. They, I mean, it's like on a the, factory. The big machine factory, yeah. yeah. They're I, not it, homemade. The machine's making them, and, I, and the machine's like charging me for the most part. I respect the machine. Yeah. So, so you respect... Harrison just pulls them out of package in the morning and sets them up. You respect the machine. <laughs> like, if they were like made in front of you... Mm -hmm. um, by, like, an actual human being... Yeah. Or a machine, who do you, like... Who would you respect more? A machine, machine, man. I think I'd go with the machine, too. Somebody had to They're turn the machines it's on, it's so technically someone. it's human made. And someone had to invent the machine. Well, right. we don't know so, that. Really? They invented themselves? Yeah. AI? A AI Holy crap. I mean, AI's, that, yeah. that stuff is possible. Especially now. I mean, Matrix. Matrix 4 came out. Oh, yeah. I, I never watched that. All right. What? You claim to be a film Harris, Yeah, person. exactly. You're true. a film buff. You haven't seen the Matrix? Literally not true, actually. Really? I, I, I'm a film, um, a movie connoisseur. Uh, I consume, I digest, and I, I critique. And why, don't, why don't you tell me and Garrett how many films you have logged into your Letterbox account? Oh, we, we leaking my Letterbox? I am. Um, I think I'm like 10 away from 2000. Yeah. You've seen all and, those? And you say you're not a film buff. Uh, a connoisseur. What's the difference? I, I enjoy it. I consume it. I digest it. I, 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 I analyze. What's a, what's a buff? I go work out with the movies. Oh. Like I, 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 I get a couple of reps in, and I put on like oh, you don't Rashomon. Take, take notes. You put on Rashomon. Yeah, I, I love my uh, my Japanese moral tales. Yeah, what's like? Okay, you know, before you came on here, I mean, you might have saw because you've been here for two hours. Yeah. But yeah. me and Garrett were talking about Avatar two. Oh really? So you what did you yeah. seen it, like, It's my it's my second favorite movie. Really behind? Um, Avatar. Schindler's List. <laughs> Schindler's. That's like quite a quite a jump in genre. Well. So pretty, it goes Schindler's They're both list. pretty somber movies. Avatar 2 has some upbeat moments. It's, it's really sad. When you're a connoisseur, you can do that kind of thing. Yeah, you, you can. Just, you can like, just pick one genre. So yeah, it's, all over. for you, it's um, Schindler's List. Schindler's List. Avatar 2. What's next? Avatar 2. Dead Silence. Do you have any answers? For your list? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, you. You have an answer? The new Puss in Boots. The new Puss in Boots. That's Puss in Boots. Oh my gosh, that was a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes. Is it Death Wish? Last Wish? Death? I, it's the Last Wish. I hear it's actually like one of it's yeah. like the most... Yeah, uh, we watched it for the SUNY Plattsburgh Film Club. Next week we'll be watching The Thing. Come soon. 5 p.m. in Yoakum 205. Harrison, that was a very subtle way of plugging the club that you're president of. I appreciate I'm that. smooth with it. Yeah, no, that was smooth. I mean, that's I can, a great, it's that hard to a notice. Great, a great thank clip. You, I mean, you. you set up straight for it and everything. Thank no thanks. slouch. Okay, we're doing this? All right. Yeah. Um, back to my, you know, we talked about Avatar 2. Now, we, we had ideas for the show in December, um, and now it is uh, March. 
and we're talking about this now, but is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I believe it is. You think so? Explain. Yeah. Um, you see a tree in it, right, in the beginning? A Christmas, like a Christmas tree? tree? Like a Christmas tree or a I tree? believe it's a Christmas tree. Yeah. It speaks, is that your only reason speaks for itself. I mean, have you seen the movie Elf? With Will oh, Ferrell? I've seen Elf. See, now that, that's an that action Christmas? movie. Is that a Christmas movie? It's an action movie. It's, more, it's kind of a really somber movie, actually, Elf. It's really I thought it was insanely depressing. Well, it's action number four. Movie. So it's oh. Schindler's List, Avatar 2. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots, oh, Last Puss Death. Puss in Boots. The Death and Wish. Then Elf. And then Elf, yeah. Then where does Die Hard rank on your list? It's like 50. It's number 50? Yeah. Oh, top 50, though. It's top 50. Almost. Well, it's, um... It's Bruce Willis? Wow. Yeah. You couldn't come up with the name Bruce Willis? You I don't know, man. I, I think, man. I don't, I, I've seen, like, two movies of his. Really? Yeah. Die Hard and... Die, Die Hard 3. 3? Yeah. Is so it Die Hard? You skip the second one. I, I think I've seen the second one. He's in the plane cockpit for a little bit. Yeah. We're bringing down the plane. Die Hard Four is Die Harder, I think. Is it? That's what because you said Die Harder, right? No, you did. I said that. You did. These are not I that great shoes. Carrot. <laughs> They're not. Well, I, what is jo this? Josh made it sound like we were gonna only see the top half. He's Dude, like, he's like, I don't really? have a bottom <laughs> half of the suit. I and don't have a bottom of my suit. The Look, these are jeans, man. These are jeans. I got. I, I got. You. An email he's like, don't worry about it, bro. And then I get here and I'm wearing sweatpants in my old shoes. Yeah. You should have wore the Air but Force But you didn't. Look you, at the weather outside, Josh. That's my fault. If I would have known, I would have packed them in a bag. <laughs> I didn't tell you not to do that. You made a slip. Oh, I don't have dress pants. Don't worry about it. Like, we're one and the same. You're sitting okay, behind well, the desk. Okay, first of all, you're wearing sweatpants. <laughs> like, at least I had, Oof. like, the decency to wear, like, black jeans. Yeah, if that's nobody true. was seeing that's my true. bottom half, why would I worry about it? I don't know. The worst I don't know either, We're seeing your bottom half, at least. All right. Yeah. Harrison, why are you wearing a Vanessa Hudgens pin? I'm a big fan. For the most part. Last time I saw you were wearing it on the back of your hat. So like, what changed? Um, I'm more open about it. You know, I've come out of the Vanessa Hudgens closet about it. You know, I, I'm a big fan of Spring Breakers. You ever see that movie? I have not. It's Harmony Korean. That means nothing to me. <laughs> You're a fan, right? Of course. I'm a fan of anything Harrison's fan of. Good. Realistically, we, it's just a logical sheep. reason. You guys are sheep. I'm not a sheep, man. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, You're like not a I'm like, I'm like a wolf lion hybrid. No, you're the, you're the shepherd. A lion? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lion. Or what do you mean, a, what, a, a loaf? A loaf. A loaf. A lion. A hybrid. You're a hybrid. Yeah. Two hybrids. Two hybrids. Whoa. You're two hybrids. Which one would you want? Would you want the wolf's head or the lion's head? I think I want like the wolf like snout. Um, the lion like skull shape. With the mane? You have the mane. What about the crotch? Yeah. Do you want a, both, you want a man? Both. I want both. <laughs> you want that to be a hybrid in the yeah. team? Yeah. Double crotch action. Double huh? crotch. I need, I need, I need four legs. Crotch in each of them. How many arms? Oh. Then? If you got four legs. No arms. Why do you, why no, you just four the, legs. I got the paws, man. You had to clarify you needed four legs, even though both those animals have four you never legs. Know. <laughs> never know. Never know. What kind of tail are you? Well, I'm a bipedal right now. I can go. I can go. Like, I can go on fours if I have to. Is it bipedal or is it bipedal? Well, there's that. I think it's bipedal. But I, I, well, it I'm depends where you live. I think in Europe it's bipedal. Oh, okay. All right. It was that one time that I never went to Europe that I thought. You went to Europe? That one time I never went to Europe. Oh, you've never been to Europe. You gotta listen here. So. I've been in the area. I've been around it. You went around Europe? Yeah, on a boat. The continent? Yeah. What were you doing? Panama. I was in the Panama. Cruise? Or are you just swimming? It's freighter. I was in a freighter. Whoa. Were yeah. you there when it blocked the, Josh, the canal? Josh, we can't. We can't talk about Yo, that. Yo, Garrett. You're, oh my God. First, you show up in sweatpants. You can't. You, you call out Harrison for his Duncan habits, and then you're trying to make him talk about what freight he's bringing. Yeah. Yeah, it's classified. I don't know, man. You came on the show to to supply answers. We came on the show to help you, Josh. This has been a, this has been a, a crap. It's show been a disaster. No. Here. What's it's, the show called again? Uh, Plattsburgh tonight. Uh, once we keep the, the background, it's, so it's so right. Over. It's right there, though. It's no, I know. It's you make that graphic yourself? Damn. I, no, an AI software did. Yo, is that in New York City? That's that's the Los Angeles skyline. Because we're in Plattsburgh. We're literally in New York. So I thought it made sense. You ever been to LA? I have not. No. It's not cool there, man. I'm, I'm going to go eventually. It's hot. Really? It's hot. It's really have you hot. Been? I've thought about it. So you're speaking from inexperience. I've been close. I've been really Harrison's close. Harrison's aware by. of all climates. I've been to Texas. He's, aware of all He's I, been I, I've close to Europe. Okay. Clo He's really been across close. the world. I saw it on the horizon. All right. When we come back, we're going to be asking Harrison some trivia questions about film because he knows Whoa. so much about film. Stay tuned. Kind of sewer. We, we got some great questions for Harrison. Have you ever had a main character moment? I mean, when you first step in front of the camera. I mean, when you ace that exam. When you publish your first novel. 
when you take that shot. When the moment is yours. Welcome back to Plattsburgh tonight. We got some trivia for Harrison, because Harrison, you are a major film buff. Connoisseur. Oh, connoisseur. 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 Right. Please. My apologies. Gosh. How many times have we gone over? Buffs my dad. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Harrison. We got we got some we got some tough questions for you, but you know, we're pretty confident that you can answer them. Uh, if you're a film connoisseur. Connoisseur. As you say. Absolutely. All right, your first question. I'm out of breath already. Oh, well, I mean, get ready because this is going to be. You think you're nervous? You guys should see here. Josh's foot back there. Yeah, dude. I, I, I'm telling you, man. I got up to some stuff before this <laughs> to prepare for the show. What does that mean exactly? I, we can talk at, uh, after this when we go post, out. Post trivia. Yeah. Post. Post. No, post show. Post show. Post show. Post, post, show. post, post finale. We'll discuss. We'll finale. Later. We got to look at the ten, ten. Exactly. Four. We got the whole three episodes. All right, Harrison. You ready for your first question? Yeah. Why not? All right. Spider-Man 2 stars Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus. All right, which Indiana Jones film was Alfred Molina in? He was in um, Crystal Skull. Garrett, what's the verdict? I have no idea. I don't have the cards, Josh. How would I? <laughs> I think I wrote the answer on one of them. You think? Do you know? If Harrison was the... It's Raiders of the Lost Ark. All right. So the first you're... one? He was in the first one, yeah. Oh, I've seen that. I... Idiot. I wasn't a, wasn't a fan, honestly. You weren't a fan of the best one? Nah, man. Which, one, which one did you like? Crystal I haven't seen any of them besides the first one, to be honest. So why'd you throw that one out? All you... right. I'm, I'm a big Jurassic Park guy, though. I well, love, some, I, I love me some dinosaurs. Park, where... I love dinosaurs a lot. Did you like the new one? Which one? Yeah. Dominion? The I haven't seen the last three. It was, no, it was like Lost, <laughs> it was lost Kingdom. Oh, was it something. Lost Kingdom? I don't oh, you guys should switch seats. I don't, I don't mind the Pratt series that much. It's all right. It's uh, he's just, he's, t it's like he's got the whole new trilogy now. I wish it was someone Chris else. Chris Pratt has to be in like every movie these days. But like, yeah, yeah, he's a cool and all, but like, I'd rather just watch like anyone else, I think. Literally yeah. anyone else. John Samuels? Maybe Hans. Hans? Hans, Hans would you be in the next Hans, would Jurassic you be in a, yeah, Jurassic Park? How you feeling? Are you more of a, the original or the Pratt trilogy? Jurassic Park? Yeah, that's what we're talking about, Hans. <laughs> 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 right. Moving on. All right. Uh, Harrison, your next question. Good try. You next. know, you, you kind of botched the I first the one. I botched the you, first you one? You did. You did. But we're, we're confident that you can get the second one. Why are you right. talking for me, Josh? Garrett, because I, I can read your mind. I can read your thoughts. I know what you're thinking. You're, you're thinking, Josh is upset with me because I'm wearing sweatpants. And Harrison's going to get this next question. That's right? close. Right. Oh, yeah, I got this one in the bag. All right. Oh, James Cameron did not make which of the following films? Titanic, Aliens, Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, or The Abyss? Wow. Mm. Four choices. I listened to a podcast on James Cameron once. Then you should know this. Scooby-Doo. That is correct. Yo. That's, that's weird, too. I actually hey. like got <laughs> whispers we from made our it. cameraman over there. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scream at you. All right. Harrison. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna interrupt this little romantic thing you got going Romance. On. But Harrison. Don't speak for me, Dad. I'm, I'm, I'm platonic. Garrett, like fully. I said, man, I can read your thoughts. I'm a very platonic. You're person. thinking about the Air Force Ones now. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what you were thinking about. I thought you were just gonna say Air Force. That's no. a classic. Are I'm those like, comfortable, though? These? Yeah, they're Nike runners. I've never found a single comfortable shoe in my life. Really? Is that what you're saying? I think I have, wide, so I have really wide feet. Harrison, your shoes are literally super glued. You see that? Uh, yeah, but it's comfortable. Yeah, it's, not, really it's not really that comfortable, though. You wear them all day at Dunkin', though. Yeah, they absorb, those they can't absorb see grease. Harrison's shoes, they are put them super up there. glued together. Take them, them off and put them on the desk. Super glued shut. Don't take them off. Take them off and put take them on the desk. Take them off. All right. yeah. This is, um, it's glue right there. Right there. All right, we'll put it back on. Thank you for the applause. All right, Harrison, are you ready for your next question? I mean, let me think about it, actually. All right. Is it cool. a good question? The Godfather 2 oh. is about what? So, uh, Michael Corleone. 
Can you be more specific? It's about his upbringing. No, no, it's about um, it's about um, Brando's character, right? Is, is it? Is he? I don't know. I've never seen any of the Godfathers. Hans, what's the Godfather Jeez, part two about? What do you watch? The Gabagool. It's all about the Italian, you know? That was pretty good, actually. Harrison. Way better than do you. Do you agree with that? You, you said you were a film connoisseur. I don't, mm. You have almost 2,000 films yeah. logged in the letterbox. I just, I just, re I just really like the good. Japanese films a lot. You, you're not a fan of the, um, what's his name? Who directed Godfather part two? Uh, Coppola? Yeah, you're not a fan of his. I like Apocalypse Now. It's a great movie. I like Rumblefish. All right, well, I don't really know what The Godfather Part Two is about either. Have so you seen it? We'll, no, I have not. Especially well, the film. Yeah, what would, you, what would you describe yourself as in terms of movies? I feel like I'm a casual film watcher. Casual watcher? I'm a casual watcher. Is casual like bottom tier or is that like somewhere in the middle? Yeah, he's, I think he's a bottom. Bottom? Yeah. You're a bottom? I am. I'm a power bottom. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. <laughs> I yeah, think I, I think I'm, I'm versatile. You're versatile. Yeah. Are we talking about. I play all games. What are, we, what are we talking about? Harrison. I could play rugby. I could play football. I could play soccer. All right, <laughs> Harrison. Your next question. You know, we'll count. We'll, we'll say you got the Godfather question for wrong. you. I would, Harrison. We'll, we'll count that as a wrong one. That was pretty close, though. Yeah, I think Hans was closer. Can we like justify a half a point there? We give you a halfy. I think we give him like maybe like point two five. I give Harrison a halfy. Half I'm getting a half you over here. You going right. to give a half? We'll, we'll give you a half. All right. All right. That's a fully. Kanye that West full. has not been in which of the following films? Uh, Road Trip, Shrek 3, Passion of the Christ, or All of the Above? I want to say All of the Above. Garrett, what do we think? Which Road Trip are we talking about? The first one. How many are there? Or two. I don't know. Who's in, who's in Road Trip? What's, Harrison, what's Road Trip? Harrison, what is Road the, Trip? Harrison, you're the connoisseur. Is that the... Um, I'm thinking of like the uh, Chevy Chase. I'm, National Lampoon. No, that's Vacation. Yeah, that's Vacation. What are you oh. thinking, man? Harrison. I'm thinking of Vacation. You're the connoisseur there. here. I feel like you should know. Who stars in Road Trip, Josh? I don't know. He's got like... You got all um, those stupid note cards. Just, yeah, most of what these... What are they saying, man? What are they like saying? like a grocery list for later. You went front and back on some, I see. Yeah, yeah. there's front and back on some. Yeah. It's no but surprisingly, none of the answers are on here. None because of them. You, you <laughs> wrote them. You we're counting on you to me? know these answers. Harrison, um, you're the film connoisseur. I've seen like a few. You said you've seen over like 2,000. Uh, it no, could be almost. 2,000. Almost. 2000 almost I'm a good listener. A little under. A little under. All right, just take a, take a guess. Are you saying all the above? Oh, like Christ. Christ. Passion of the Christ? Yeah. I feel like some people would argue that he was in Passion of the Christ. Argue? Is, is there speculation? Is this like a deep theory? <laughs> <laughs> that probably is somewhere. You saw Kanye in the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's Ye now, right? I think it's Yi. I don't know. Would he have voiced the character in Shrek, you think? If Kanye were to... Well, it's Shrek 3. It's not the Oh, Shrek 3. He wouldn't play the kids. He has the kids in that movie, Whoa. right? Is Kanye that the one where child? he's got all the kids? Well, Shrek has kids. Then what's Shrek 4? Also kids. Really? Are, what's, they, wait. are they more grown? Yeah, they're like adults. What about Shrek 2? I thought he had... Shrek 2 was um, kind of like just like a... It's like a Kramer v. Kramer situation. A segue. A Kramer vs. Kramer situation? Yeah. Is that the... Who's in that? Al Pacino? I don't know. Harrison, <laughs> if I knew you were not going to know any of these films, you wouldn't be asking these questions. Look, How man. many indie films could you possibly watch? Like two. Two thousand. All right, Harrison, next question. This is the last one. And uh, do you have any more you, after that? If you get this right, I mean, there's no way you will Will I get full game. credit? You'll get, like, a little can bit we do, of credit. Can we do a wager, like, all the points at once? Okay. Do you want all a, the marbles? Do you want a wager? You got two and a half points, I think. Holy crap. From who? Or, no, I think it's one and a half points. Well, if you count the ones that Hans gave him. Yeah, Hans. I could, put, I could put some Cardinal cash on it. Yeah, let's, like. let's yeah. see it. We got a scanner in the back. Swipe that thing. Hans, you want to take this? You're going to bet him? Scan his yeah, card. I'm putting all my Cardinal cash on that. Get the Cardinal cash bet, Hans. Betting, Thanks, crazy Hans. Betting machine. You got sad parents, Hans. Could actually. All right, Harrison, are you ready for this one? This one's for all of the Cardinal cash that you have on your card, which Money I bet bags. is probably around eight cents of Cardinal cash. It could be. The film Baby Driver does not contain which of the following elements? Driver. Music. A killer baby, a regular baby, or John Hamm? Oh. This but is for the all main the character's cash. name is Baby. You're saying which one it isn't? Which one? Garrett. <laughs> you should know this too. Harrison started moving his hand. I got nervous. All right. Do you want me to repeat it? I do. Okay. The film Baby Driver. Please. Are you familiar with the film at least? Yes. Are you? Yep. Yeah. We're, we're asking you. Oh. <laughs> Does not contain which of the following elements? Music, a killer baby, a regular baby, 
or John Hamm? Jesus. Well, John Hamm's in it. We know that. That's true. Disappointing. And there is music in the movie. There is. It's actually a major aspect. Yeah, major. That's the whole point of it. So what's Killer what's Baby, answer? Regular Baby? What? Well, what they is, made the main character. What, what defines baby? a killer baby? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. defines a regular? Because he's a killer at some is there point. An age? I would say like his a name baby is that baby. has like homicidal tendencies. Okay. And then a regular baby would just be like a loser of a baby. Like that baby is so lame. But uh, it's a lame uh, baby. What's a baby? Because it's like when you become when you can walk, are you no longer a baby? Yeah. What's the, the what's, the, what's the, the parameters? Yeah, what's Do I look like a parent? Where are the parameters where it's a baby into like a toddler? I would say like once the kid. What comes first? I would say once the kid turns like two. It's not a baby anymore. It's oh. a full-grown adult, then. I wouldn't say that either. It can, like, it's... vote. All right, Harrison, what's your final answer? I think it's just regular baby. No, this is killer baby. I'll do killer baby. You're going with killer baby? What do we think? I don't know if there's any babies in the movie I overall. Don't, I don't Besides the main know. character, his name is Baby. I, Harrison, you were right. It's a killer baby. It's not a movie. A regular baby, like a lame loser baby, does make an appearance. That's not true, though. Because you're talking about the baby as in when he was a baby? He was a baby in the No, movie? like in one of the action scenes in the background, there's a woman with the baby. And, and, you, like and you know what happened when that kid grew up. I mean, he grew up, the movie came out years ago. Was it ago. you? He's, yeah, but. It was not me. How do you know if he's not a killer today? We don't know that. We can't, like. I mean, that's a good point. Predict that's a false that that's fully. Josh, no so many holes in this situation. I, okay, do you, should we invalidate this question? No. Yeah, can we, like, I mean, vote this out, like, completely? I think I'm fine let's let's just start from the top of all the, the questions. Year, the top, we're not doing that. We're all right, the fine. They, right. they need to use the studio for another show tonight. What show? I believe it is Jorge's show. Oh. It's got a game show. Wow. Is, right. it is that true? Yeah. All right. Did you think it was lying to you? I wasn't sure. All right, Harrison. At this point. Harrison right. Swells, everyone. Harrison thank Swells, you. everyone. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Harrison, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me.